reasons canines were initially domesticated was for their guarding instincts. Barking at other animals or people that came around at night, hunting large game and even deterring would-be criminals have been long-standing roles of our canine companions. No matter the size we've bred them down to, our canine companions are still one of our favourite alarm systems. Welcome back to the Fenrir Conocorso channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Conocorso, and then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Conocorso. So if you're a lifelong Conocorso lover, you're thinking about getting one, or you've just started your journey with your new Conocorso, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Conocorso video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll find out how protected the Conocorso is of you and your home. First off, Conocorso are an amazing breed that is extremely affectionate and playful with their family. And one of their best characteristics is their intense devotion to their family. But without a calm, consistent leader, plenty of training and lots of socialization, their guarding instincts can get you and them into a bad situation. Before considering this breed for your home, please evaluate you and your family's ability to be the leader that they deserve. Now, with that out of the way, let's look at the role the Corso was bred for. The Conor Corso, also called the Italian Mastiff, has exploded in popularity over the last several years, in large part thanks to their AKC recognition in 2010, making them one of the newest breeds in the registry, despite their long history. The Corsos we know today are descended from ancient Roman war dogs turned farm dogs after the fall of the empire. They were used to guard the farm, help with livestock and hunt large game like wild boar. By the mid 19th century, the breed was nearly extinct and could only be found in a very small backcountry region of Italy until the 1970s when a group of fanciers came together to resurrect the dying breed. Their guarding instincts remained strong thanks to the fanciers using boxers, English mastiffs and other similar breeds to expand the gene pool while rebuilding the breed population. If you're familiar with the Conocorso, you know that they're the most energetic of the mastiff breeds, so they love a large yard to roam around in. They will investigate any changes like a fallen tree branch or a new playset or the removal of something just as they would another animal or person. Keep in mind that their energy tends to make them more reactive than other massive breeds. Keep in mind that their energy tends to make them more reactive than other massive breeds, like a bull mastiff who has a very low reactivity and isn't as quick to see threats. It's something to keep in mind if you have children, since the Conocorso may see their playing and roughhousing as fighting and seek to defend their kids. Loads of training and socialization help the Conocorso to be less reactive, but it is a side effect of their high energy. Working their mind and body helps to settle the reactiveness of this breed too, so make sure that they're getting plenty of exercise several times a day and this is a great time to work on obedience commands as well. Since all canines have a sense of territory and resources, your Conocorso will establish what they consider their pack's territory, which includes the house and parameters of the yard. While they aren't considered a territorial breed, they are highly suspicious of any newcomers on the property and are quite intimidating. This applies if you're out for a walk and someone or another animal approaches you. They will typically be standoffish of people until they're familiar with them and see that you're relaxed. If someone or something is making you nervous or upset, then you can bet your Conocorso is going to throw their considerable weight into defending you. The same is true in reverse. If you're calm and relaxed around another person or animal, then your Conocorso will be more accepting of them as well. I've said it before and it bears repeating now, it is absolutely critical that your Conocorso sees you as their calm and consistent canine leader and you train them extensively. Their guarding instincts are deeply rooted and they are incredibly dedicated to their family. So you don't want them to act of their own accord to guard you in a situation that isn't actually a situation. Too many amazing canines end up in shelters or sadly being put down because they hurt someone in a situation that could have been avoided with better training and leadership. The Conocorso is one of the best guard dogs out there. And like all large breeds known for their protection instincts, they are not for first time owners or those that can't be the calm, consistent leader that they need to keep them safe. Their size and deep bark are quite intimidating and they've been used throughout history for protection work. Some individuals will be more offensive while others more defensive and either type needs to respond to your direction. These are powerful canines so remember to work with them every single day in constructive ways that reinforce your leader status. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Conor Corso videos coming here every week so I can't wait to see you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Conor Corso Show.